Sports Animation. Every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday at 6 p.m. Happy arrival, my friend. How are you? I'm fine, Chantal. Don't you even see how I'm shining? I'm very happy for you. And how are you yourself? I'm okay. I give thanks. What's the matter, girl? I know you're not well. Sweetie, the market is not good at all. It's been over a month since I sold $100 in this store. I'm really tired, my friend. You made the choice yourself. I gave you several opportunities that you didn't want to seize. My girl. Everything you suggested was really difficult for me. I don't have the means. Who told you about the money? I told you to trust me. I know people who can help you. Do you think you'll get rich selling your spices there? Look at yourself. You're beautiful, and you're smart enough to suffer like this. I told you I am not in the business of selling my body for money. I already have a man in my life. This man you have in your life brings you even what, and you call out his name every time. In any case, I would never ask you to go out with men for money. In fact, I don't make any myself. I'm talking about selling wicks. I told you I can hook you up with my big suppliers in China, and all over the world. If you're up for it, I'll take you with me on my next trip, which will be in three days. How will this be possible? I have no savings to invest in this project. I don't even have a passport to travel. I just want your approval. Don't worry about the money, or your papers. I'll take care of it. You just be ready. But it's weird. It's not easy to get a passport in three days in this country. Even in a month it's difficult. And what about the visa? Ah. Uh, I'm telling you to forget all those contours. I'll take care of it. Okay. Well, I'm off. I have to browse my five stores this morning. Okay. Hello, darling. How are you? I'm fine. How are you yourself? It's okay too, honey. I've got to get to work. I'll see you tonight. I hope we can find time to take your daughter shopping for the end of the year. We will, darling. Don't stress. As soon as you have a little time in the week, we'll make the most of it. We'll also have some shopping to do for the house. Okay. Lord, I thank you for the peace in my family. All is well in my home. My children are well and very respectful. I have the most beautiful wife in the world. A very well-educated and submissive woman. I am truly gracious. If I hadn't married this woman, I wouldn't be as fulfilled as I am. I truly thank God. Aren't you going to the store today? No, Mom. And why? I want to stop selling spices, Mom. I'm going to China. What are you going to sell there? By the way, where did you get the papers? I'm not going alone, Mom. I'm going with my friend. What a friend? My friend Erika. And you're going for what? Where did you get the money? But you ask too many questions, Mom. Erika promised to take care of all my expenses, including my plane ticket. Really? And where did your friend Erika get so much money for this trip? Don't you see his store selling wicks and weaves? Erika has the largest wick and cosmetics boutique in the city. It has at least five major boutiques to its credit. Partnerships with major international suppliers. I didn't know she had so many resources. 
Can't you see the car it's driving? In a little while I'll be as rich as she is. By doing what? Is your grocery store going to make you rich? So you didn't understand everything I was saying, Mom. She also wants to put me in the wig business. This is the reason for our trip. Really? Daughter. Is it true you're going to China tomorrow? Yes, Daddy. You're not going anywhere. But why this categorical no, Dad? You didn't even try to understand the reason for my trip before making a decision. Your mother has already explained everything. I don't want you keeping company with that girl you call your friend. I don't trust her. I think I've told you that all along. But why are you against my happiness, Dad? What did my friend do to you? Where your happiness lies. Who told you that you also have to sell wicks like her before you prosper? I told you the beginning would be difficult, but if you persevere and improve, your business will grow too. I don't know why you envy your so-called girlfriend's life. No, I don't envy him. Do you know what she does, besides her wick business? Are you ready to make the same sacrifice as she does? She's probably at these stores for years. You don't want to look like her. I'm sure she comes from a wealthy family too. She has the necessary means for her business. I don't know where you'll find the financing. I'm retired and your mom doesn't have that kind of money either. Daddy. Daddy. It was she who decided to help me. I didn't ask for it, nor did I demand it. She also said I don't need financing to get started. She says she has contacts to help me. It doesn't inspire me. It's too easy. I'll give you what little savings I have. We'll try to invest in your grocery store again. I'm sure that'll make a difference. It's better than your fuse story. Darling, please. Let your daughter go on her journey. Who knows? Maybe she'll make it in the wick business. What's more, you don't have to invest anything in her business. She will benefit from financial assistance. Apparently you don't understand what I'm saying. Do you think there's anything in life that's free? My decision is clear and precise. I don't want to support such a collaboration. Don't you see how selfish that is? Do you even think about your daughter's development? I remind you that she is already of age. You can encourage her in her choice, but I'm not committing myself. What's the new? Your father still holds his ground. He doesn't want you to go on your trip. What am I going to do now? I really want to try this new project. Don't worry. I'll cover for you. You'll be fine. Seriously? Yes, my daughter. Your happiness is also mine. If you succeed in your new business, I'll succeed too. And how do you plan to deal with Dad? Don't worry. He won't know anything. He'll just know the facts. Are you ready? Yes, but... What the hell? You want to make excuses, don't you? I've already informed my colleagues that you'll be coming. Don't let me down. By the way, my father is not for... At your age, do you still need your father's approval before taking charge of your life? Besides, when you get rich, it's for their own good. Don't they know? Okay. Let's go. But I have to go pack my bag. Forget it. Close your store and follow me. We'll be flying, won't we? It'll be my first flight. Just calm down. Where we are? Calm down, Chantal. We have already arrived in China. Really? But I don't remember taking a flight. Forget all these questions and follow me. Please stop making that face. Okay. My goodness. 
It's really crowded in here. All these people are trading or something. You're stressing too much, my friend. All these people you see are also here to meet the suppliers. And when will the suppliers come? Here they are already. Happy arrival to you all. We hope you are doing well. So how are your sales evolving? This year we'll be increasing your sales stock for anyone who wants it, of course. We'll also be welcoming our new members at the end of this meeting. Please Grandmaster. This is my friend I told you about. Okay, pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you, sir. So what's your name? My name is Chantal. I'll do it. Come closer. Did your friend tell you about the conditions for becoming our partner? Not yet, sir. Are you sure you can work with us? I certainly hope so, sir. Sir, my friend also wants to become a wick wholesaler like me. All right, follow me, miss. Okay, but where are we going? Stop asking too many questions and follow the master. Okay. Miss Chantal, I'm going to ask you to be very focused and very respectful. I'm taking you to see our queen. You will have an interview with her. Okay, sir. What do you want, miss? I want to start selling wicks. So you've come to the right place. We're going to offer you 20 tons of wicks and natural weaves to sell during this festive period. You need to make sales all over the world. To do this, not only do you have to get on social networks, but you also have to advertise to reach a very large number of people. Your products will also be of higher quality than those on the market, but at a lower cost to attract the world. Okay. You'd better finish all the stock we're going to give you before the end of January. All right, my queen. But I don't have money to invest. Don't worry about the money. We're in partnership. You won't have to pay a thing. But you must comply strictly with our instructions. You must try each wig on your head before selling it. You must also prepare the wicks. We'll give you an oil and a perfume to rub on the products every time you sell them to a customer. You need to put the oils in each wig as you try them on your head. If you forget, you will have very serious consequences. Alright, my queen. You're good to go. Please my queen. What's the role of the oil I'll be putting in the products? Will it have no impact on buyers? Get this girl out of my sight before I get angry. Who do you think you are? I don't get asked these kinds of questions. Go and do what you're told. Alright. Ma'am. Follow me, Mademoiselle Chantal. How did your interview go? I don't know if it's good or bad. Is there a problem? I was in the middle of asking questions when the Queen of Wicks got angry. Don't worry. It's good enough. Are you sure? Of course. But they didn't give us the products. How am I going to get them? <laughs> your products are already at their destination. A destination you say. Calm down, my friend. I'm more experienced than you. Listen to what I'm telling you. Ah. Uh, who are those who park trucks in front of my house? Who are you, sir? I have been instructed to deliver these containers to this address. You received the order from whom? And what's in the containers? Your daughter will be able to tell you more about the contents of these containers. Really? But how come we are already in the country? Wait, wait, wait. Are you naive? Can't you see this is magic? Oh my god. Oh, oh what's the matter? Don't go home and celebrate your new success. Don't forget that you have to finish your stock in a month at the latest. There are some containers that have been delivered to the house. Did they come from you? My products have arrived. Don't tell me it's your locks and wigs that are so numerous. Of course, Mom. Wow, you've done it, girl. You'll certainly have one of the biggest stores in town with all those containers. It's quite obvious. I'm very proud of you. Look at my store. Who could have imagined that I too would be at this level today, less than a month away? Good day to you. Yes, hello. How can I help you? 
Do you have 28 inch natural wigs? Of course. How much do you sell them for, madam? It's just 25 euros for the dozen prices and 30 euros per unit, madam. Wow, you're so much cheaper. It's a gift you made for us. Last month I bought the same wigs for 500 euros. Even this morning before I came to you, I'd been through 10 stores, and your price is still the best. Are you sure it's quality? Come and touch them yourself. This is top quality. In fact, this is where all the boutiques come to stock up. I'm going to take a lot of them to sell to my colleagues at the office. Alright, ma'am. Darling, how do you like my hair? It suits you. But what do you have? I have headaches. What did you do in town? I was just going to pay for my wig. But what do you have, darling? Sorry sir, your wife couldn't get over her headache. She has unfortunately left us. Tell me I'm dreaming. It's an unfortunate reality, sir. Your wife has given up the ghost. Is it good what you're doing, girl? What did I do, mom? After all this time, you can't even offer me a wig or a lock of hair to braid? Don't worry, mom. You can have as many as you like. Okay if you say so. Can I at least come and help you sell in your store? Since I'm not doing anything these days. No, you don't have to work. It's up to me to take care of you. Get some rest. Okay. I'll make a money transfer so you can do some shopping for the house. Okay, girl. I'll leave you to it, mom. I have customers waiting for me at the store. Okay. My daughter saves my life. Today we manage to eat three times a day and pay the mortgage on our house. All is well. What makes you so happy, my darling? Guess what, darling? Did you know that our daughter paid more than half of our mortgage? Stop making jokes. Why should I lie to you? It can't be true. So she paid more than 20,000 euros. She paid 25,000. We only have $10,000 left to pay, and she promised to do it next month. So we also get out of debt easily like that? Who could imagine that my daughter could do me this honor? It's like magic. Stop crying, darling. I always told you to trust our daughter. She's very dynamic. Okay, but it's still very fast. Don't you think? In just a few weeks, our daughter's life has changed. I find it a little exaggerated and bizarre. It's always you. Still in negativity. What am I saying wrong? I'm just saying what I think. It's okay. We have to encourage our daughter in her efforts instead of remaining in negativity. Her business is doing well, and it's really making her a lot of money. Today, things are changing very quickly with the internet. It's retailers who make a lot of money now when they come across great products that meet a need. Okay, I heard. Dad, I have to change my hair. I want to have natural weaves. But what's the problem, darling? If you want even 1,000 weaves, I can buy them for you. Just talk to mom about the type of weave you want, and I'll give you the agent. Mom says she prefers me to keep my hair natural. And why? She thinks it's a waste of money. And that my natural hair suits me better than all the weaves. But your mommy is not so wrong, girl. Your natural hair is beautiful. But that's what I want. All my girlfriends are going to get beautiful. Their parents had bought them quality wigs and highlights. Let me talk to your mom. Okay. Oh, honey. Why haven't you gone to work yet? I was talking to our daughter. What's wrong with her? She says she wants the wear weaves. So that's why you're staying home again? We don't need to make this a necessary expense, darling. She only has five days off. When school starts again, she'll have to take everything off. It'll be a loss. Honey, it doesn't matter. But she's the reason we work. Let's just give our daughter this little treat, even if it's for five days. I heard. Thank you so much, darling.
I'll send you some money so that you can take her to make a choice. You can also do some shopping for the house. Okay. Where's Sandra? It's been nearly two hours since I got home and I haven't seen her yet. If I tell you I have an idea, I've lied to you. Your daughter hasn't been home for almost three days now. She comes home late. And won't even eat my meals. Really? But where does she get off going like that? See you tomorrow, Josias. Thanks for driving me home. You're welcome, my girlfriend. Aren't you going to kiss me goodbye? Okay. Oh, my God. What am I seeing like this? Thanks. Goodbye. Where are you going? Come back here. Where are you coming from so late at night? And who's that boy you were kissing outside? He's my boyfriend. Is there a problem? My goodness. My daughter has a boyfriend at 12. What's the harm? Do I have to get old before I start experimenting? Abomination. Shut your little mouth over there. Who do you think you are? Who gave you this education? Hi, sweetie. Is it true you had a fight with your mom yesterday? This lady bothers me too much. She prevents me from living my life as a young girl. Pa. Are you sure you're okay? Where well do you have the headaches? Leave me in peace. Besides, I'm off to see my boyfriend. My god. What is it? Is she really my daughter? Or am I dreaming? Wait. 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 Where are you going to dress like that? I'll see my boy. What? Go back to your room and get those panties off. Who gave you permission to leave the house anyway? I don't need your permission to leave the house. I'm going to beat you to death with my own hands. It was I who gave birth to you. Are you talking to me like that? Leave me in peace. Oh. My God. What have I done? Please, darling. I've just given him a little slap. How can you beat your daughter to death? You're a witch. I'm going to kill you with my own hands. What did I just do to my own wife? You're under arrest, sir. I didn't know what had gotten into me. I'm so sorry. Oh, my god. Oh, my god, this man just strangled his own wife in the hospital. What an abomination. How could I have committed such an abominable act? I killed my own wife. Now I have no children and no wife. I am cursed. I prostrate myself, Queen Mother, the mother of all riches. Welcome, my daughter. I'm really proud of you. I received my sacrifices from all over the world. You are my beloved daughter. Return to Earth and destroy more life. May many die and lose their souls as soon as they put our wicks on their heads. We spread unhappiness and sadness in human hearts. Bring me more soul. Your wish is my command, my queen mother. My girl. I breathe money. People are talking about me all over town. I told you so. Didn't I? You've got potential. At the next meeting with our suppliers, I'm going to demand that you take it to the next level. There is another step beyond this one? Of course I do. Or don't you want to have magical powers like me? This second stage allows you to travel anywhere in the world without paying for anything. You can roam the wilderness as you please. You can go to China, Dubai or anywhere else in the world without any barriers. Really? Of course, my girl. I'm aiming for the last level now. Which one is it? I will speak directly with the Queen Mother herself. 
I'm talking about our great goddess. I'll be even richer. I'm sure I'll be at that level too one day. Of course you can. If you stay loyal. I hope you follow the instructions. I do everything to the letter. And the customers are just multiplying. In fact, I'm almost out of stock. Okay. Happy arrival. Thank you. Aren't you ready yet? We're almost late for the ceremony. Of course you can. I've even been ready since. Arah, don't tell me you'll follow me with that face. Is there a problem? Don't you like my hair? How you, the mother of the girl who owns the biggest wig store, will go out with a badly coiffed head? What's this? I'm warning you that it's the grand dames who'll be coming over there. Go put a wig on your head. I don't have one, sister. My daughter won't let me wear wigs. Even braiding my hair is a problem. What story is that? I paid for a wig at your daughter's house yesterday and I haven't even tried it on yet. I think it would suit you. I'll borrow it for the outing. Okay. Thank you very much. How do I look? It suits you like a glove. Let's go. What's wrong with you? I have headaches and vertigo. What is this malaise again? Go take some paracetamols. Lord. Why did you give this wig to my mom? Arah, what does your mother's illness have to do with the wig I gave her? In fact, I bought it yesterday in one of your boutiques. What? I'm dead. What's up? You killed my mom. I don't know anything about her death. How are you feeling, big sister? Your wedding is in less than a week. I feel great. I've already prepared everything. Before you came home from work, I took the liberty of entering your room. I had seen a weaving that has a strong smell. What's it for anyway? That's why how. This is the weave I bought for my wedding. I don't like the smell. It doesn't smell like Mami Water products. Do you know the smell of Mami Water? Stop your negative thinking. Just because you don't like putting highlights on your head doesn't mean you're going to discourage me from doing it too. No, big sister. I'm not discouraging you. I'm just telling you what I smell. The smell of this product is too strong. Besides, this weave is too long for you. I wish you had returned it. But I'd already paid for it. They'll take it. You haven't even opened that yet. Have you? Okay, I'll try to return it and see if they can give me at least half the purchase price. In the meantime, let me offer you another weaving that I ordered for you from Europe. Wow. Thank you so much, my little sister. You're welcome. Good day, ma'am. Yes, hello. How can I help you? I've come to return a weaving I bought from you here a week ago. Have you heard that I've opened a store to collect used weavings? Or is my store a dumping ground for your garbage? Take it easy, lady. You talk very badly to people. This is my store. If my way of speaking doesn't suit you, get out. It's not you I am waiting to sell in my store. Leave with your crumbs. Madam. I just came to give you your product. I'm not even asking for all the money. Even if you return half, that's fine with me. I've made myself clear, miss. I never take back a product I've already bought. Uh-uh. You're very strange. Take your product and keep my money too if you want. Good luck to you. I don't even know how many products you paid for before creating on me. Pick up your money at the counter over there. What's going on? Why did you barge in without telling me? Our master and the queen have asked to see you right away. Really? But why is it so urgent? I don't even know. Here I am my queen. How can you take back a product you've already sold? Because of the product you took, you set fire to our palace. That lady to whom you sold our product had a very strong power in her house. 
This power destroyed everything here. Please, my queen. Please forgive me. I didn't know you couldn't take back a product that's already been sold. You must return to this palace with 10 million euros within a week. If you don't, you'll suffer the consequences. Where am I going to find that kind of money, my queen? Help yourself. Please, Erica. Please help me. We're already three days from the end of the week and I haven't even been able to raise 3 million euros. Please borrow me some money to supplement what I have. I'll pay you back after. I don't have anything on me either. I spend all my money. They had forbidden me to save. Anything I find, if I don't finish it by the end of the month, I could die. That's why I change cars and houses every month. What will become of me in this story? I'm so sorry. I'm screwed. Your daughter's situation is very critical, sir. Her head is full of worms and abscesses. We are helpless in the face of her illness. Oh my god. What's with all these misfortunes befalling me and my family? You can visit her in her room. Where did you find this disease, my daughter? I want to talk to a pastor dad. Pastor, I want to make a confession. I hope God can forgive me. God is love and mercy, my daughter. If you confess and truly repent. Pastor, I signed a pact with the devil. What are you talking about? You shut your mouth. Where do you know the devil to sign a pact with him? Please, sir, let your daughter speak. When things weren't going well for me, my best friend suggested I convert to the wig business. So she took me to see her suppliers. They had indeed given me tons of products. But he had given me a lot of prohibitions about putting oils and perfumes in the wigs. What is the role of these oils and perfumes? At first I thought it was just to get lots of customers, but over time I came to understand that they take people's souls. Anyone who puts my weavings or any of my products on their head must die in one way or another. The proof, my own mother died putting on my wigs. I killed my own mother. Hey, what have you done with your life, my daughter? So what happened to put you in this state? There was a lady who had returned a weaving she had paid for at my place. But apparently she was a Christian. As soon as I took back the weaving I'd sold her, everything changed. He asked me to bring in 10 million euros in a week so that they could forgive me for my mistakes. Unfortunately I couldn't find the money. That's why I was so enchanted by them. Can you give us the names and addresses of the people you work with? Yes, I can tell you. Oh, she's dead. My god. And so ends this animation. Since Chantal's death, her friend Erica had gone missing. She was sought everywhere, but never found. My dear brothers and sisters. Let's be very vigilant at the end of the year. There's a lot going on. Let's not think that the occult doesn't exist. It's a reality, my brothers and sisters. This animation is designed to draw your attention to the dangers of the moment. Let's be vigilant my brothers and sisters who run after cheaper products. You want to have quality products, but at the same time you don't want to pay the price that goes with them. Know that your physical and spiritual health is very important. A product that sells for three times less than the factory price is bound to be dangerous somewhere. Let's be vigilant. While you're worrying about how to start your new year in style, there are also occultists who are looking for ways to perform their annual rituals so that their new years will be fruitful. During these periods, you'll see a multitude of products being called onto the market, and all over our cities. For most of these products, we don't even know where they come from. Other products are already spoiled, and people hide behind promotions or liquidations to get rid of them. Other products are purely diabolical, and spiritually toxic. But still we are blinded. The Bible says that my people perish because of a lack of knowledge. See for yourself how simple weaves and wigs have destroyed people's lives. This story is not an invention, it's inspired by a true story. Maybe your life is the way it is today, just because you consumed something you shouldn't have, without asking. 
Maybe the illness you have, the cause of which you can never find, is linked to a simple shoe, or an outfit, or even the water you bought one day somewhere. Maybe you're sterile today, because you paid for panties, or sanitary diapers, which you wore without even praying over them. Look how the simple act of putting a wig on a 12-year-old girl's head had possessed her. She became rude and behaved like an adult. Dear sisters in Christ, no one can stop you from making yourself beautiful or maintaining yourself. My dear brothers, no one is forbidding you to give pleasure to your wife, child or family member. But the advice would be to pray over everything you buy. Not just at the end of the year, but always. Pray over everything, without exception. This plague isn't just about highlights or wigs. It's about everything on the market. Jesus tells us, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Behold, I have given you power to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. May God protect us and keep us away from the strategies of evil men. Living in this world without supporting God is a danger. If you're new to this channel, don't hesitate to subscribe and activate the notification bell to be alerted each time we publish a new animation. Bye.